along with an importer whose main mission in life is to find those ingenious devices and bring them to Canada. Have you seen these? They're battery cases that can turn a AAA into a AA, a AA into an A, and so on. Well, tonight you're going to find out where this kind of hot selling gadget comes from. Our video journalist, Tracy Tai, tagged along with a Canadian importer on a trip to Hong Kong hunting for the next big thing. Right from the first moment, I clapped eyes on Luke Jalbert and his bottomless box of goodies. No, he yeah, in that box. Oh, flashlights. I mean, we're starting our own line of flashlights. Again, there is a lot of test market to be done, you know what I mean? Like, Three things were evident. I am mixed up in a lot of uh, different type of products. First, very high-end quality. He's got a lot of stuff on the go. It's a sneaker roll skate. You want to go a little bit quicker? <laughs> yes. And then when you get back into a store, restaurant, or whatever, you just... Pull them back and hi mom, I'm home. Two? He's a little bit hyper. <laughs> and see? He lives his life and runs his business at turbo speed. Luke stayed a perpetual commotion, but comes about because of a new venture he's launched with his business partner, Don Vaughan. Smack in the middle of a Moncton industrial mall, these guys are rushing to import new products from China, trying to get them to market before anyone else. So, bet you haven't seen this but yet. I show it to a lot of people. It's like it's ugly. <laughs> Push it aside. I'll have a sample home, I guess, for Christmas. I look for the stuff so I can be first running. I, there might be ten people who see the product like I do. It's who who runs the fastest to the finish line. When it's time to snow, they can't use the scooter. So now you just take the two wheels off. Brand new to the import biz. Like We're going to learn the industry of toys, and the industry of uh, pots and pans, and the industry of uh, commodities, and the, you know. Luke and Don teamed together a couple of years ago. He was like my angel that, that came from nowhere. Because, I mean, I, it, I was pretty down and out. Don stepped in to bail Luke's small lamination business out of bankruptcy. Business began to slow down again last year. She said, well, you know, lamination is one thing, but we've already got all these customers that we're servicing. So let's look and see if there's anything else we can sell them. With a ready-made base of customers, they took their first trip to China to find their first big seller. They came back with lots of possibilities. Electronic garbage can. You just wave your hand in front and it opens. But the Anysizer battery converter is their first big launch. A battery converter? Never been seen before. Hopefully that makes us a lot of money because that's the plan. 50,000 battery converters just arrived. All I can find in my home, in my drawer, is a C battery. They spotted this little gadget at a trade show in Hong Kong less than a year ago. And inside this one here, I got a AAA. A plastic sleeve turns a battery like a AAA or a AA into a C or even a D cell. I have two converters, a C and a AAA. Bingo. My problem's fix. The original product was Day Glow Green. Packaging was terrible. They toned down the colors, fancied up the look, and made it ready for North American sales. Any size are just shipped to stores across the Maritimes. We've got to hustle fast for my red flags for the chain stores. Today's quick mission, plot a TV campaign for any sizer. I'm scared because the thing is, Walmart is looking at us to see what we're doing on our turf down here. Zellers is waiting to see. They're all, they're all on the fence. They all loved it. They all said, wow. TV spots have to commence soon to take advantage of the Christmas season. If we can prove to them that the ad does make a difference. Show retailers there's an appetite for any sizer. Do it on TV. And if it don't work, then we'll give up and move on to the next gadget. Hey, he's not kidding on to the next gadget. Do you speak English? First products, oh, barely in stores. Hello? And the Far East calls out to him again. That's typical to deal with the Chinese. His fourth okay. trip to China in 10 months. What do you mean, no? Difference this time? You have manager, yes? Ventures along for the ride. Two weeks later, touchdown, Asia which roughly translated means land of containers. Nah, I'm kidding, but you get my drift? Seems lately like everything comes from here. We're finally following an entrepreneur right to the source where his stuff is made. I'm you too. There you go. Or am I? Dear Mr. Luke Jalbert, recently our counselor informed us Tracy Tight couldn't pass visa because she is a newspaper man. I'm a newspaper man. 
No visas for visiting journalists. But Luke's allowed to go, and lucky for me, he's got his own camera. Hi, Mom. <laughs> On the road to Ningbo, China. This is going to have to be a really fast trip. As if this guy would ever slow down anyway. There's a huge trade show in Hong Kong in just a couple of days. Luke has to find his next big thing. So I need this as a factory. But first, the next shipment of any sizers has to be quality checked. You, you guys are cheating. Luke's eliminating the middlemen. Deals direct with the folks at this factory. He doesn't use an agent, so that keeps costs down. And those low costs are what's keeping any sizer production here in China. Weekly wage in this factory, $40. Keeping tabs on such a faraway assembly line is sending Luke's frequent flyer miles into the stratosphere. Hello. 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 Also means he's really getting to know China quite intimately. Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that. Monday, back in Hong Kong, it's headline news. Spanning seven halls and multi, multi floors. And then we're gonna go treasure hunting. Hundreds of thousands of attendees. A show so big. They call it mega. Well, we're not going to miss one boot. We're going to do the whole the whole trade for 4,800 boots. Combining every category or department of every store you've ever been in. Woo! Want a clock? Want 30 or 40,000 of them? How about pens? That's a pen? You can use it in the dark. Choice is unlimited. Cute. You can play at night. As long as your feet hold out. Got a hankering for naughty pigs? Well, pigs aren't really on Luke's list. He just needs one good gadget. If we find one hot one, that's that was worth the whole trip. That's interesting. How much are those? His main focus is to find a product he calls a wow. Something that's so innovative that I can wow them at least, wow myself and wow the buyer. I mean, don't expect to walk in a, a head office with just something simple and they, and they have gazelles of. He's just another guy. But you gotta come in with something that's totally different out of this world. It's a moving clock. It tells time. Pretty much all the mainland China manufacturers are here. Farting, Mr. Fred. Plus reps from Korea and Taiwan. Ooh. It's an all Asia show. Wow, it's a lot of power in this. Luke's also looking to make sure his battery converter hasn't been knocked off. The main thing I'm going to look to see if anybody else gets my battery at the show. I'll flip. This is someone with my battery. Even though Luke doesn't know what a wow is until he buys it. Okay, 2,500 bucks, and then I get for my order. It would appear a wow is not too pricey. Chicken feet. Sounds cheap, but this stuff has to be packaged and displayed a little differently in North America, and that adds up. I'll change the package anyway. So. Day one of the show melds into day two. What's really worrisome? No wows. Didn't get my wow. We'll find it. I can feel it. Luke's not panicking publicly yet. After all, there's a wow wherever you look in Hong Kong. Come with me, I'm gonna show you something. Tough to tell where the trade show stops and the city starts. How much? Yeah, 15 for you. How much? 15, one five. By day three, Luke spots some wow potential. I only have this product on the market now. Is it, is it just starting to show it now? Yes. A completely new invention, a snowboard on wheels. I like it. Yeah. I'm just trying to think the cost. How low is he going to go after I communicate with him? We're going to go to seven first. No, actually three. A full-fledged wow is compact, so he can fit lots of them into a container. Couldn't we make this uh, more, like, broken so he'd make the box smaller? If this wine rack could be streamlined, it would be a wow. That's a new one. That's a wow. Here's a classic wow. Bubbles you can catch. Oh, personal bubble. Brand new invention. How fast can you send a video to Canada? Tiny bottles and best of all, nobody's selling in Canada yet. Let's say I ordered some. I ordered a container or 20,000 yen. It's two weeks production. Guess what? I'm having fun. And even though I fake them out once, seems nobody's copying Luke's battery converter. Funny. Or have I spoken too soon? Uh-oh. There is another one out there. But it's way more expensive. One piece is 40 cents. That means two is 80 cents. Wonder if this is in the trade show rule book. Hiding the product from other shoppers. We now leave our previously scheduled trade show program because Luke's got business across the harbor. We're on uh, Kowloon, on the other side of Hong Kong. Taking the ferry, it's quicker. He's off to take care of a pending problem with another of his products. The folks at this trade agency coached Luke through one of his first Asian orders. 
It sounds like they prepped him on proper Asian business attire, too. Apparently, he's dressing more appropriately. Business method with the tie. What? You look so different. Yeah, right. I, I look smarter, right? The I look smarter, she says. Always casual wear before. Jeans. Jeans. But he understands if he dress up, then the people respect him more. Seriously, that's <laughs> right. More respect to him. <laughs> Look like a businessman. Otherwise, like a big, big boy. But today's meeting concerns a shipment of kids' scooters. Luke's unhappy with the quality. Tell shit actually sent us a piece of shit. <laughs> right. I want them to know I'm saying it. If he says that they were all good, then he can take them all back. I'll pay the shipping. You pay? Yeah. Give me back my money. You know what I mean? I, I don't think he will. But Agent Quincy Ho says she warned him about the manufacturer. I think they are very tricky. Right from the beginning, they don't give us anything. The packing information, the combination sample, I have nothing on them. Does Quincy have advice for next time? I think if I were you, I would choose a good supplier. Luke's lesson? I should have been at the factory. For a big order like that? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll see a future filled with even more trips to China. Yeah, well, sometimes you need to learn. Oh, I learned, all right. Thank you very much. Take a picture, quick. <laughs> <laughs> I learned. The exhibitors are reminded not to remove the exhibit from the booth before 5 o'clock. By the last day of the show, it looks like Luke's running out of time. And already starting to pack, yep. Yeah. This is ending. 4,000 plus booths, but still no big wow. Can he spot a winner before the whole show shuts down? I'm oh, sure he's snagging a few more samples to bring back home. That's a good idea. You think they would sell him PI? But nothing so far fires him up like last year's battery converter. Really running out of time. Finally, Luke spots the one product that turns this trade show into a triumph. Uh, this is great. This is my wow. It's pretty double wow. It's a spring-loaded magnetic hammer. Okay, it doesn't slice or dice, but it does shoot nails from two different orifices. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. And you'll never hit your pinkies again. You gotta send samples. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. We'll do business. Okay. Could it be the wow of all wows? This, bye -bye. this is a wow. This is a good one. That's a good one. That's the real wow. That's over the wow. I never saw that before. They didn't sell the Canada. Fast forward two whole months. Outside, it's a wet and soggy New Brunswick Christmas. Inside, it's, well, Christmas. The best one is the fruit and vegetable candles, and also my line of sneakers. I'm so excited about this one. Oh, I give up. Every time I show the bubbles in the air, people, oh, wow. This guy will never slow down. I'm working on creating our own catalog. It's been a dream of mine anyway. Luke's launching an entire catalog of Asian items now. Product development is just rollicking along. Remember the any sizer? What would you say if I told you I could use this C battery to make this portable stereo work? TV ads launch just in time for seasonal shopping. Makes a great stocking stuffer. But that's just so 10 minutes ago. It's exciting because I get to bring it right away to the market. Because Luke's already devoting his life to a new baby. I don't think we realize in Hong Kong how, how good of a hammer it is because every time it works. I think we're going to do phenomenal with this. I think we got another winner. I think we got a lot. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, any sizer. We got to be quicker. We got to learn to be faster to get it out there before somebody else does. But in this biz, there's a need for speed. Here you go. For Venture, I'm Tracy Ty. Luke sent us a box to bring us up to date on his story. The hammer was not a hit, as it turned out. He says he can't get the price right. The candles, however, have been very, very popular. And he's still doing well with the any sizer. He's selling it into the States, packaged along with a flashlight. But you know what's been a huge hit? Were the catchable bubbles. Unfortunately, Luke did not get the rights to these. Someone else beat him to it. Good evening, I'm Diane Buckner and welcome to Venture. Did you get a battery converter in your stocking a few days ago? Or maybe a candle that looks like a potato? There's a huge gadget and gizmo trade show every fall in Hong Kong, where distributors with keen eyes go to shop for the next consumer crazes. Last year, we followed Luke Chalbert on his hunt for what he calls the wow. The hammer wasn't a wow. Too expensive. The any sizer sells in the Maritimes, but it's not a real wow either. We caught up with Luke a few weeks ago in Mississauga, Ontario. This is our wow. It's a car air freshener that clips onto the air vents. We had two wows in a way. 
We get the product and we get the biggest supplier. Luke's landed a deal with Walmart. He and an associate, Guy Malafon, have come to the Canadian Home Office to find out more about doing business with this huge retailer. Luke's not completely in the dark, though. He's already sought advice from someone else we know, Chris from Claude Hopper's Candy. Regular Venture viewers might recall a 1999 episode with Chris and Larry in that same Walmart parking lot. Chris's advice to Luke? Stay on top of the inventory. Make sure those stores don't run out of stock. Now back to Luke's meeting. Yeah, it was a good meeting. In early March, they're going to be carrying the products. It's going to be all set up, and then we'll be advertising it in May. So we have a program set up with them. I'm looking forward for more stuff. Yeah. I'm going back to Hong Kong. Yeah. We'll find some more wow.